Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I am sitting out enjoying all the birds coming to the different fountains and enjoying the flowers and the hummingbird feeders. Hummingbirds and orioles and other birds too. Today I want to talk about something that may give you guys an idea if you're setting up solar fountains. Maybe issues and thoughts and things you should know because if you don't, you will be wasting your money. Number one, let's talk about where you get the solar fountain kits. Now you can buy them on eBay or Amazon and there's, you can even buy them on other websites and they're usually third party. You want to know on that, when will you get them and how long it will take for it to arrive to you. Sometimes the seller could be in the United States. It will tell you that, but it actually isn't coming from the United States. It might be coming from China. If it is, then it can take you all summer to get it. It could take three months sometimes to get it. What you want is you want to find the seller that has the item here in the United States. That's the most important thing. If the solar fountain kits are in the United States, you should be able to get them within a week. They'll tell you the date of arrival, approximate time, and if it's longer than a week, I'm going to ask you right now, don't buy from that seller because then they're estimating it could take a little longer. And if it's, let's say Amazon or eBay and it's coming from another country, they'll tell you, you have to wait. And they'll let you know, I've had this happen to me. It's coming from China. It could take an extra month or two. You'll have to wait to see if the seller sends it. By then your summer's over, you may not even want it. So you wanna make sure and guarantee that the seller is here and you want a guaranteed date buy that will work for you. Now you're saying, well, I want to get my solar fountain kit made in the United States. I'm going to let you know that I have not been able to find a company in the United States that actually manufactures them and makes them. There was a company, a few people have contacted me, told me it was back East, but when I contacted them and got them to the point, they were bringing them in from China because to be honest, they're the ones making them. And that's the only place I can find that actually makes the small kits. It probably isn't feasible for other companies here to make them. So that I'm just letting you know. So the main thing that you need to know until somebody starts to make them here, we're not talking about bigger kits. We're simply talking about the little solar panel kit. They're not made in the United States as far as I know. And if they tell you they are, you better ask them and get them to the point because I have found out that they're not. That's my findings. You may find something else out. Okay, when you're buying them, what I want you to do is look at the ad and make sure that the ad is showing and telling you you're getting the one with the long cord because sometimes they're selling both in the same ad and they may be out of the one with the long cord, but you've got to read it and they're showing the round one, the hexagon one. That won't work for a project. You will need to get the one that has the long cord so you can move the panel where you want. There's a lot of new types coming out and I'm gonna buy a lot of them just to try them out of curiosity. But right now, the one I'm showing you is the one I've been using for all my projects here in the yard and the birds absolutely love them. They just, they're crazy about them. Now, another thing I want you to know is if they stop working, I don't want you to throw them out. If you've already thrown them out, well, then there's not much I can do for you on that. But if you still have any of, of them that just suddenly stopped working and you threw them in a drawer somewhere, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go get them and drop the pump in a cup of water and leave it overnight. The next day I want you to take it apart and clean it because 95% of the time, that's all it needs is a cleaning. I've got videos on that. Look at those videos and clean them because I've had so many of you come back and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it just needed a cleaning. So that is something to know. Now, as far as the tubing, tubing can be a little different size per each one, they're slightly different. And you have multiple parts that come with it. So what you do with that is you're going to try to get the tubing to fit on some of the parts. Some of the parts, you, sometimes you can get the tubing straight onto the pump. Sometimes you have to put it on an attachment part. So that's why size is a little flexible. I do have a video to show you how to make your tubing bigger or smaller. So be sure to check that out if you have an issue. It's really easy to fix that. 
if you've got a kit and you put it together and let's say the water is flowing too hard for a hummingbird to take a bath there is an easy fix for that you can take some painters masking tape i like the green and kind of go at a diagonal over the the top the the solar panel and you can slow it down that way in other words you're creating less electricity going to the pump and that will slow it down putting it in the shade a little bit will work too but the problem is the sun moves but by putting a little bit of masking tape like i'm showing you here that will slow it down if that doesn't work because sometimes the projects are real small and the water may shoot a little bit too much even without putting any of the little doodads on the little attachments the other thing you can do is with your soldering iron make a tiny hole further down on the pipe. So before the water gets to the top to shoot out, you know, hummingbirds may not like it so strong, you'll have a little bit of water trickling out of the pipe below. So it would be just underneath your project, not on the very bottom because under the water won't really help, but where it comes up, you just make a tiny hole and that will reduce the water pressure coming over the top. You know, that's pretty much all you need to know. These kits last for years. It comes as a kit, comes with all the stuff you You've seen in the pictures here and I've got some of them running for now almost four years four years can you imagine the same one now I have seen that in the winter you can find them sometimes for ten dollars but when it comes summer and everybody's buying them I've seen them go as high as 50 that's too much look around I put multiple links underneath all my videos but the issue is they sell out fast. So I try to keep up with it, but I'm in the middle of doing gardening and hummingbirds and everything. So some of you tell me, hey, the link doesn't work. And I go back and I look for the right ones and I do change it up. But you can go in there and you can look around. It, it may be sold out, but they'll show you ones that are similar. Just be sure when you read it, like I said, the most important thing that it is coming from a company that has it in their possession in the United States. Otherwise, Otherwise, if it's gonna come from China, it's gonna take simply too long probably for you because most of us are quite anxious to get on with our project. So I know how that is. Isn't this something this hummingbird just came to me? So that's the main thing. I know that a lot of you do want products that are made in the United States, but this is one you're not going to find right now. You may find a bigger type of fountain, electric fountains, but when it comes to these small ones, I have not found them and the ones that are here are not made here. They're just bringing them in. So I think I've answered most of the questions. Try different size tubings. Generally, I get 5 16 inside measurement. Okay, that's the inside tubing measurement, but you can go bigger and you can go smaller. So check out my videos that show you how to fix it if it's not right. Certain birds like Orioles love to bathe on a flat surface. That's why some of my fountains have a plate on top. The birds get down there and splash in there. I've never had a hummingbird or any bird drown in any of my water features. Even the ones that are just a bowl of water with a unit sitting inside, I've never had that. So I know some of you have mentioned you've had it. Keep in mind that sometimes birds that are not well come and hang around water and it might have fallen in and maybe something like that happened. But yes, accidents can happen. You can, in, in a bowl, you can put rocks in there. Make sure it's a real rock, not something that's going to dissolve. And you can clean up some rocks and put them in there. And that would help anything that would get in there. Bees love to sit on rocks too and get water. And one last tip is when you're making a water feature, I will say that color is better than clear. Not for any reason other than clear always seems to look like you have to go clean it and you'll look at it and it'll be, oh my gosh, I've got to scrub it because clear builds up a lot of hard water, sediment on it. It's hard to clean off. It gets scratched. And that's the only issue. If you don't mind that, then don't worry about it because I do use clear too because I go to the thrift store sometimes. I find one there. You'll find clear ones at the dollar stores. But just so you know, color doesn't look as bad as clear. And as far as what you can use, you can go to your hardware stores and get a bucket. Buckets are fabulous. I have multiple types of water features I make. But you can also go to some of the dollar stores and find trash cans for a dollar, which I'm using now. And they're marked with the number five, which is perfectly fine for food safe. Your food that you buy in the grocery stores come in five. Remember, they come in one, two, four, and five. Never three. Three is usually made from recycled materials, which could be tires or glue bottles or oil, oil bottles. It's usually something that is not food safe. But you see a triangle underneath that says five, you're good to go. 
The water stays nice and cool, even on hot days, because moving water stays cooler than stagnant water. And as long as it's moving, you don't end up with mosquito issues because most mosquitoes, I'm gonna use the word most, their larva in there cannot be moving. Very much like turtle eggs. If any of you are turtle breeders, you'll know that when you get a turtle egg or a tortoise egg, you have to gently put it straight because if you tip it, once it starts to set, you'll lose the eggs. Well, that's the way mosquitoes are. If you tip it, they can't hatch. That's not to say you don't want to still check just in case, but moving water stops mosquitoes. So I think I've answered a lot of questions. Ask more and I can come back and do another one. And so with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Build your solar features. You're going to love it. I will warn you, it's addicting. You think you're going to make one and you end up with 10. But you know what? The birds love it and you love it and it brings such joy to my heart and their heart. That's the main thing. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.